we're saved. Hallelujah. Yes, right. What's up? All right. with this video give it a you know what what, what? a thumbs up bruh because we about to hit you with that fire all right we have some dope news items for this video but we could be seeing bowser and this dude i forget his name but he's on all the Nintendo directs you think i would know his name and that furukawa the global president he's more seen than the global president but E3 has been saved. That's the first thing we're talking about. We're going to talk about that PlayStation 5 13 teraflops in a second. But first, E3 is still happening. Bro, I thought E3 was about to be canceled, bro. I thought the news today or sometime this week were postponing E3 due to the coronavirus. Speaking of the coronavirus, your boy lives in Florida. And today... It was confirmed two cases in Tampa of the coronavirus. I'm gonna do the rest of this video. Hold on. <laughs> something over my mouth or something, bro. I want y'all spreading y'all internet germs to your boy Obi Wan. I gotta stay healthy, man. But I'm glad that E3 is still happening. This is an official statement from E3. This is what they say. Everyone is watching the situation very closely. We'll continue to be vigilant as our first priority is the health, wellness, and safety of all our exhibitors and attendees. Given what we know at this time, we are moving ahead full speed with E3 2020 planning. Exhibit and registration sales are on track for an exciting show in June. And so, all signs are pointing to E3 still happening in June. Good, man. We want to see a full... Even if we... But here's my thing. <coughs> even if E3 wasn't happening um, this year, we would have still got the, the news we wanted. Nintendo doesn't do a presentation anyway. Their stuff is all a pre-scripted video anyway. And I just think if that, that were the case... Microsoft would have just switched, Xbox would have switched to a uh, pre-recorded video presentation, which I think they still might get one prepared just in case uh, they end up canceling E3. But as of right now, E3 is moving forward. The coronavirus cannot stop the video game hype train, even though I do think gaming is going to be impacted by this virus. Time will tell. If I think of the two consoles that would be delayed, I think PlayStation would delay theirs more than Microsoft. First, Microsoft is an American company. Um, even though they still manufacture their parts in China overseas, um, we've gotten so much more news on the Xbox Series X. They seem more ready, bro. Um, they have actual consoles out in the wild in America right now. Uh, they they seem ready to go. Sony, on the other hand, has been quiet with the PlayStation 5. So, I don't know, bro. We're going to talk about the PlayStation 5, but first let's talk about the PlayStation 4. Fi Final Fantasy 7 Remake. The demo Square Enix gave us an early present this morning. The demo for Final Fantasy 7 has gone live on... Booyah! Your PlayStation 4 this is my God of War. PlayStation 4 Pro. See, dudes be like, man, Obi Wan, you just be talking about the Xbox, bro. Why you be hating on PlayStation? I don't hate on PlayStation. I just prefer Microsoft, bro. I just prefer Xbox over Sony. That's all. That's all. Your boy got all the consoles. I don't know if I'm going to get the PlayStation 5, though. We'll see. We got to see the games. Sony, why aren't you showing us anything? But, bro, the demo is straight. Fire, bro. 
This demo is amazing. Let me share you guys what I posted on Twitter. I po I played the demo earlier this morning. Go check out my last video on the channel. Actually, I usually do my gameplay on my gaming channel, Obi Wan Plays Gaming Championships. But I decided today, you know, what I'm saying it's a big demo. It's a big game. I'm, I I streamed it on my main channel, and I was pleasantly surprised. Let me show y'all what I tweeted <coughs> about the demo. <laughs> my thoughts. Uh, March giveaway, blah blah blah. That's on Twitch. Uh, on my Twitter, you'll see, you can follow me on Twitter for that giveaway. But this was my thoughts. Final Fantasy demo lit fire. They nailed the gameplay. The gameplay they nailed, bro. The gameplay and the art style. I was impressed. The game looks good, and the gameplay. I like the balance. Most of it is real-time action, but there is some turn-based action going on. And you could change the style if you want it to be turn-based or just straight action. So I like that. I like that. I like that. What else did I say? Cloud's voice acting. Bro, they nailed Cloud. I was afraid they were going to make him like Japanese and quirky and hee hee. Oh, you're so funny. Ha ha hee You know how the Japanese anime can be sometimes bro cloud is a boss bro cloud is a gangster in this i like how they made cloud bro they nailed how i thought in my mind cloud should be and so nailed cloud's voice acting overkill on the blackness of barrett <laughs> oh my goodness barrett they went over the top on barrett's acting though um I said, I don't think that's a black person playing him. But someone replied and said, that's actually a black person. It sounds like a white person trying to be a black person. <laughs> He's just, it's just overkill. He's like, oh, <laughs> I would have been surprised if said jive turkey. Bro, they overdid Barrett's acting. That's the only negative thing I had. Also, also, I did say that there were some frame stuttering even on my playstation 4 pro there were moments where there was like it didn't it didn't hamper the gameplay it wasn't um all the time but every now and then you can see in some parts uh, 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 some stuttering but that thing was pushing this playstation 4 pro to its limit and my final comment on it was i'm gonna probably get it on my xbox series x um, next year this is a timed exclusive it's coming out on um, playstation first but more than likely it's going to be on xbox in 2021 xbox series x i have it it'll probably run uh, 4k 60 so i would just wait um but the demo is lit bro my favorite game of all time is final fantasy 1 on the nes the very first final fantasy where it all started for me Final Fantasy 7 probably my second favorite Final Fantasy game. But I'm talking about my favorite video game of all time. Shooting, sports of all time is Final Fantasy 1 on the NES, bro. I, I just love that game, bro. All right. All right, now. Speaking of Sony, bro. Let's talk about this PlayStation 5 and the latest rumors. The latest rumor is saying the PlayStation 5 is going to be... 13 Terra flops, boy, flip flops. Now, Xbox has confirmed Xbox Series X is 12 Terra flops. But here's my thing with this 13 Terra flops rumor. I looked it up. The source, not reliable at all. Now, I'm not saying it's not going to be 13 Terra flops, but the only leak. That I could go on that I give credibility to. And this is why this leak is getting so much traction. There was a leak a couple weeks ago, a couple months ago that said Xbox is going to be 12 teraflops. Sony is going to be 9.2 teraflops. And lo and behold, Xbox is 12 teraflops. And so everyone, most people are banking on PlayStation being also um, 9 teraflops. And I'm weighing more on that. Xbox said that they weren't conceding the hardware race anymore. Last generation, Sony, it was a no, bro, it was no, no, bro, Microsoft gave Sony a layup last generation. Xbox was a 
a hundred dollars more 500 compared to the playstation 4 400 and the playstation 4 was more powerful so it was cheaper and more powerful a no brainer bro and so this generation we have to see big thing is gonna be the price what are they gonna price these consoles at and one of the things I think about if Sony goes 13 teraflops how much is that gonna cost I think Sony still has a bad taste in their mouth from the PlayStation 3 and how the PlayStation 3 was um, $600 at launch I don't think they want to do that again so interesting interesting time will tell but as soon as as soon as next generation news drops I got you covered that's why you make sure you subscribe your notification notifications are on I got you I know you dudes have been wondering this whole video why in the world is this fat spider-man shaking his belly in my face bro a new Marvel future a new Marvel game has been announced Marvel future revolution and I have to say I got hyped I was like oh this trailer looks lit until I read the details it's an open world mobile game <laughs> it's going to be coming to a mobile platform for mobile devices so i have to wait and see um actual gameplay it's just cgi in, in this trailer all right dude that's it for this video though man what do you guys think about everything coronavirus can't stop e3 playstation 5 13 teraflops fake rumors sound off in the comment section below i want to know but before you go bro click that subscribe button stay up to date oh Gaming, bro. When you boy, you still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I gotta hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice: Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi One Plays. And that's it you're in for the giveaway but wait there's more do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy become a sponsor three ways to join one subscribe on twitch if you have twitch prime you can do it for free two click the join button right here on youtube and become a member and the third way to join patreon.com backslash ob1 plays you'll thank me later also check out the swag bro links are in the description i'll see you later deuces